Hey, what's going on? Barnaby here, another Hello Life moment. We're still drilling it down about allergies. We got the top eight to deliver to you in manageable chunks, and to do that is registered dietitian Jessica Butcher. So we've already gone through tree nuts and peanuts. If you're concerned about that, you can find that on our website. But what are the next two we're gonna talk about? I'd like to talk about fish and shellfish. Now these are the two most common allergies in adults. And what's interesting is that oftentimes they're not diagnosed until later in life. So maybe, you know, 35, suddenly you're enjoying shrimp and you realize um, something's not right. Maybe your tongue's swollen up, tingling, maybe you have hives. That certainly could be a good sign that you have suddenly a food allergy. Suddenly a food allergy. As a matter of fact, your fiance, or if you're watching this after uh, 2011, your husband, has got a food, a fish allergy he didn't know about. That's true, that's true. He's enjoying one of his favorite foods and suddenly he had a major reaction. So now we have to stay far away from shellfish. Now, is this pretty prevalent in the population, fish and uh, shellfish allergies? Well, it's not as prevalent as you might think. It's the rate that we actually hear about food allergy reactions, but shellfish is the most common reaction in adults, and yet it's still in only 2% of, of American adults. Well, it's interesting because you don't necessarily have to eat the fish or the shellfish to have an allergic reaction. Explain that to me. That's true. Well, let's say you're in a seafood restaurant. Uh -huh. you know, if they're steaming up lots of tasty smells in the air, and maybe some of those vapors from that fish they're cooking make it over in the air, if that reaches you, that can cause a reaction in itself. It only takes this tiny vapor to cause that reaction. That is crazy. So you should steer clear of seafood restaurants if you are fish intolerant. That may be a good idea. Otherwise, at least talk with the people in the back of the house to make sure they know that you're coming in with that allergy and they can give you that clear warning. Okay, and now let's say you love seafood so desperately you think, well, I'm going to grab some imitation seafood because it is, after all, imitation. Are you on safe ground? Oh, there's so many tricky areas here with lots of different allergies. And imitation seafood or shellfish, that's one area that you really need to watch out for. Now, maybe you're grabbing that imitation you know, lobster thinking, you know, I have this shellfish allergy, I can't have it, this is the perfect way to work around it. That's not the case, because oftentimes they may use flavorings of shellfish or fish, but there is even parts of maybe a less expensive shellfish or fish that they want to use in that ingredient to still cause that reaction. Well, I'll tell you what, I have uh, a bit of fish breath every day because I take a fish oil supplement, mm -hmm. so I guess if you're fish intolerant, forget about that, right? Right, if you do have an allergy to seafood, or to fish in particular, and you do want to watch out for your fish oil supplements. So maybe opt for a, a vegetarian source, maybe a flaxseed oil supplement instead. All right, and uh, let's say, you know, on Sunday morning you want to have a Bloody Mary or something. Mm -hmm. Forget the Worcestershire sauce somebody once told me. Yeah, that could have some fish ingredients in there too. And same with Caesar dressing. So you really do need to watch out on the different labels of your products and always look for that common allergen statement on the ingredients because it is required by law to have that listed out commonly in plain terms on the allergen label. All good advice as always from Jessica Butcher, registered dietitian on hellolife.net where we're all about matching your commitment to a healthy lifestyle. Any questions you have about allergies, you're in the right place. Dig deep through the videos. We're covering the top eight right here on hellolife.net.